Dear doctor, I bring in all the wishes and greetings uh, from Speed Medical Institute. We have of all the faculty members to you. Thank you, sir. Scoring uh, rank number one in MCH plastic surgery in uh, INI SS session 2022, November session. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Can we know a brief background of uh, Dr. Satyaki Roy uh, from where he started till date? Uh, sir, I did my undergraduate from uh, Chukma Pondicherry and uh, I did my master's in general surgery from PJMR Chandigarh. Okay. Now, why is interest in plastic surgery? <laughs> sir, uh, because during my residency, I was uh, like most of the people in GS, we are usually confused as to what super specialty we want. Uh, not everyone has a fixed uh, goal. So, I wanted to get uh, get uh, accustomed with most of the procedures that is being done in the super specialties before making a choice as to what I would like to further pursue. And uh, during my postings, I found that in plastic surgery, most of the uh, procedures that was being done was based on a problem solving technique. You use what you have, make the best use of it and provide the best outcome for the patient, both in terms of function as well as aesthetic outcome with, I think, the least morbidity and morbidity for the patient. So that is what really fascinated me about the department and the entire concept of plastics. Great. Now, uh, can we know uh, what is the secret behind rank number one? And uh, how did you achieve this? And uh, what all you did to achieve this? Sir, I don't think there is <laughs> any secret per se. Even I am as equally, um, I would say, surprised and glad uh, that uh, this turned out to be a very good result for me. Uh, even though I think the only mantra that all students do from their own side is hard work and perseverance. And that is what I think I did from my end as well. Uh, so I just kept in mind that I had to be consistent. And I also wanted to make sure that I revised most of my uh, uh, subject related MCQs as from many sources as possible. So I think that gives a bit of more confidence when it comes to uh, attending the MCQs in the exams. So can you share something on your preparation? How long you prepared when you started? What all you did? Sir, uh, actually I started uh, preparing from uh, after my MS in June. So uh, the last three months before my uh, exams in uh, this ENSS, I just sat down. I didn't want to join an SRship course where I wouldn't be able to give my 100% for preparing for my NESS. So I thought, why not uh, sit down, read the subject, understand it, and then give the full hearted attempt at NESS and see where I stand. So I am, I just uh, prepared uh, for last three and a half months, I would say, after my exams. How did you prepare? What all you did during your preparation? Uh, sir, I uh, initially started with the theory textbooks. Uh, Grab and Smith and a little bit of uh, keynotes, but Grab and Smith is too lengthy and a uh, very huge book to grab from actually. <laughs> so uh, uh, I then uh, decided to use the video sources of speed. And I would say that uh, it definitely allowed me to, you know, get a better concepts of most of the topics that are very difficult to uh, understand. With, without someone giving a in-depth understanding of that uh, topic, some some of the topics are very practical based, and so it is very difficult to understand if you haven't seen them or you know uh, assisted in any of those procedures. So I think that allowed me to get a much more in-depth perspective of the subject. Yeah, yeah, because the plastic surgery is not a routine part of general surgery. So it yes, is uh, out of. Uh, uh, thing need to be prepared separately and the plastic surgery content are taken by the respective subject uh, specialist in plastic surgery. Yes. Hand sir, surgery yes, is hand surgery, micro surgery is micro surgery specialist in micro, in plastic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they are not only resourceful and they are very completely experienced also. Yes, sir. So many of the things that were not even there in the textbooks were also, you know, uh, told during the lectures. And uh, I think it's important to make a note of those points go through them again, revise it before the exams, and that provides much more confidence when we are attempting those MCQs. So yes, that did help, sir. So what what do you, what was your score in NEET SS? Sir, uh, my uh, rank was 100 in NEET. So uh, initially I had thought I would take a plastic surgery seat through NEET, 
However, the counseling has still not been completed yet. So <laughs> I am, I would say lucky as well as uh, grateful that I got an attempt to sit for the NESS as well. And now I can decide which uh, college I would like to pursue. So wonderful, wonderful. Now, uh, how many questions did you attend? Sir, I just went with the mindset of not leaving anything this time. So <laughs> I attempted all. I just, I did not want to, even though there are many of my uh, batchmates and the other candidates would, uh, they would derail from this uh, logic as to not to go very full strength. But I remember I did watch one of your videos right before the NESS uh, exams where uh, you did say, okay, don't leave anything, just attempt everything. <laughs> Uh, so I, I think that is very important because uh, this is a very uh, low scoring exam. We only have 80 MCQs in our hand. We don't have much to play around with. And each MCQ or positive marks gets you ahead plus one and it's a minus one by three. So I think the more uh, questions that you attempt, more is the chance that you get. Although yes, it does require a, <laughs> a bit of uh, knowledge about the subject and more confidence. So um, that definitely is needed. But on the other hand, sir, I do think that uh, attempting more gives a much more better chance than leaving more questions. Attempting 60, 70 questions definitely takes you out of the competition because there will definitely be negative marking in the questions that we attempt. Beautiful. So what is the message that you want to leave for the future aspirants of MCH plastic surgery? <laughs> so, I would say that uh, I think plastic surgery is not a very uh, demanding branch in current super specialty competition compared to GI and Onco and urology. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the coming years, I think this is going to be one of those seed branches in the very near future. And it's a very lucrative branch, uh, not just for now, as well as for what is coming, as well as I think it's a very interesting field to work in. Uh, from my little bit of a uh, few months experience in plastic surgery as a junior assistant, I found it to be very, very uh, challenging, very, very interesting and artistic, I would say. It involves head to toe everything. <laughs> so that is one one thing that uh, that gives you a, gives the surgeon a lot of uh, feel to play around with. It's not restricted just to the brain or to the uh, reproductive organs. It's just there throughout. You can do whatever you want. Extended super specialty general surgery. Ex extended, so yes, sir. that is what I think uh, it allows so much of versatility to the field, and that uh, allows you to choose later on as to what exactly do you want to perform maybe 10 years down the line if there is something particular that might grab your interest so that that might uh, you know give a better uh, future a prospect to it as well so. very nice very nice so great uh, to interact with you today and very happy for you as well uh, Thank for, you so much, for, for making it and making it as a grand success i Thank tell you, you for past uh, say five years uh, initially it was AIMS, then it became uh, NESS. Initially all separate exams, now it became NESS. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And for NEET, this last five years for both the exams of Institute and the NEET, and we have been uh, consistently uh, scoring uh, all first ranks in all specialties for this uh, last, uh, from speed. And uh, we always, every time we pray that every speciality we should get, and not only first rank, the overall uh, number of ranks that we could uh, make it uh, in these exams were there. And so that uh, uh, kind of a trend you helped us uh, to fill up in the plastic surgery as well. I really thank you for that. Really thank you for that. Really thank you for that. Thank you so much. Best wishes for you as a great plastic surgeon in years to come. And uh, from behalf of the entire uh, speed management and the faculty team, I wish you all the very best. Yes, it's been a pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank, thank you. So you thank you. Thank you.